Good evening all, Catfish875 here, back with another video, and today I'm going to find out what the hype is around glowworms. This journey started in the most boring way you could imagine. I was sat in the bait shop I work at, when one of the co-workers mentioned that glowworms are working pretty good right now. Now up to this point, I've always used night crawlers because they're big enough to fit on the hooks, and so I played it off. Later that day, I thought about it again, and said, screw it, 450 can't hurt too much, so there I was, staring face to face with some funky green worms. What are glowworms, you might ask? Good question. So after asking that myself, I went to Google, and apparently they're just your standard red worms that get fed some sort of chemical that makes them green, like some sort of mutant radioactive worm monster you'd find in a comic book. When I first cast it in, I noticed that it's created some sort of weird green cloud of radioactive crap around it, which I assume is to attract the fish. And then this happened. There we go, first fish of the day. So there I was, first cast, and I caught a fish immediately. I don't really know what to say about that, but it does set the standard for how the rest of the video plays out. So yes, they do work, but how well do they work? So we've got a nice little, nice little blue right here. He's upside down. Another one. Open your mail. Your mail, foot better. Stop harming me. So yeah, a little bluegill here. And not not too terribly long. This is like a four inch long, five inch long bluegill. Wow, that is a beautiful fish. What a bluegill. Look at that. The size of this bluegill. Here's my hand for context. I've got some pretty long hands. It's bigger than my hands. That was a beautiful blue girl. Never mind. Good heavens! Okay, so that's a small problem. Well, I caught another really big fish. This one's bigger than the last. So unfortunately, you swallowed the hook. How do I swallow? So this is a huge one right here. Good lord, the size of this fish. I don't know if I can exactly give you the scale of this fish. But, uh, yeah, this is actually a big fish. Uh, what do I have that can show you? Screw the chin. Big fish. Little guy. Oh, Andy got off the hook for me. And got my worm. Little belt. Oh, good guy. Beautiful pumpkins. Hold on. Yeah, beautiful little pumpkin seed. Oh, blue, 
Michael. That's the third one I caught today that's beautiful. It's big like this. It's not even as big as the others. Well, I learned that, yes, the glowworms do work. Now let's discuss pros and cons. So the cons are, they stain your fingers green, they're escape artists, and they die relatively quickly. The pros are, they stay on the hook, and they catch fish. You can also bet that you are going to pick up all the chicks at the party because you brought the cool green worms. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, I don't really have much else to say, but uh, I'm hoping to get another video out next week about which is better, lures or live bait. So, consider staying around for that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Enjoy y'all's evening. Bye.